we have animals like the yellow-footed rock wallaby that we really try to keep going and um, give them a safe place to live. Dangerous activity, feeding yellow-footed rock wallabies. <laughs> Is yeah. it really dangerous? Are you oh, having a go? The, the ones with big teeth are a bit dangerous. Are you joking? Um, yeah, no, no. <laughs> What's what? so special about them? Well, they're uh, related to tree kangaroos and they're pretty nicely coloured. These are hand-painted, of course. <laughs> These beautiful creatures were close to extinction in the 1970s and they are repopulating at Akarula. Rarely can you get this close to such skittish animals who've come in from the wild for a feed. But one yellow foot is more special than the others. I'm lucky to witness an encounter between it and Doug's wife, Vicky Wilson. Extraordinary in its intimacy. Kato was a yellow foot that a little Joey we raised last year. Um, he and his mum had been attacked by an eagle and his foot got damaged, so he couldn't go back to his mum. So we raised him for about three and a half months and then released him here. The first night that we let him out, they said, he's out by himself and he's gonna die. <laughs> Since then, he only comes in and has some dinner every, maybe every second, third night. So he's made it home tonight. Yes, I can sleep well tonight. 